the set this evening. It wasn't an opportunity I was going to pass up. Got in a little bit late, and it is cooking. But... Setting it out, setting in a big walnut tree, right up against an overgrown creek bottom. I hunted to the north of this particular stand yesterday morning. We saw a bunch of deer, and they all kind of filtered into this stump. Now this creek bottom goes into another patch of woods to the north of us. Right up to a big cornfield. Kind of the west of us, we're on a bend. Should be good bedding area. It's real thick stuff, real thick stuff. We got a couple holes to shoot through through it. Don't have super high hopes for this spot today, but we have had good luck with stands that are new to us this season. I've hunted this stand maybe once or twice in the past. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Hopefully what happens is it cools off or I'm gonna be cooked all the way through. We'll see, we'll see. over this way, we're going to give them the business. I'm going to kick myself later in the season. If I, I don't think we're going to shoot this deer. Meh. Meh. Well, everyone, here we go. We uh, were able to recover the, the doe that we shot this evening, and I give a lot of the credit for that to the man upstairs. I am not typically a praying man. Um, I pray a little bit at the beginning of each of my hunts for a safe and successful hunt, but I prayed a lot for the recovery on this deer. I knew it was hit high. I knew she was hit high. Uh, when I watched the video, you know, I, I'm, I'm a man, and I, I have my flaws I got tunnel vision with that shot I've done that before I've seen this song and dance before when I shot I thought she was opened up I thought the leg closest to me was uh, forward but it was back and on top of that it was uh, it was hit high and I did not think we were gonna recover this deer and, and looking at it she only made it maybe a hundred yards I had uh, I'd given up on it I'd given up on it a couple times, and I, I, I was casting around looking for blood. I'd find little, little small bits of blood. Um, very blessed, very fortunate to recover this animal. And a beautiful big doe she is, too. She'll be, uh, she'll be a good one in the, in the freezer. This makes deer number four 
for the 2021-2022 Ohio archery seasons. Um, we were just a, a real blessed evening. We got done. I said we got done. Combine broke. So I said, yeah, I'm going to go sit in a tree. I had the old rattle bang truck, all my gear in it. I said, I'm going to go sit in a tree. This is the first time I've hunted this stand, I think, for two years. Saw all sorts of deer. All sorts of deer. If I didn't shoot a deer, I was going to move that stand into this cover behind where, uh, where she ended up being at. Uh, all sorts of deer. Saw my first nice buck of the year. Um, just a, a real one of those evenings that you that makes you excited to keep doing it. Um, and a lot to think about. In any case, again, this is deer number four on the year. We're going to go ahead and get her dragged back to the creek crossing. I had to take the luggage rack off of my truck because the creek crossing was so steep. We're going to drag her back there, drag her across the creek, put the luggage rack back on, put her on it, take her home, get her gutted, get her hung in the cooler. <clears throat> because tomorrow morning, I'm planning on heading up to Grove City and try my luck with the, the big buck I've seen up there. Thank you all for watching. I do appreciate you. Thanks for uh, thanks for being here for this. Never uh, never forget the man upstairs. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.